In 1965, Vietnam seemed like just another foreign war. But it wasn't. It was different in many ways, and so were those who did the fighting. In World War II, the average age of the combat soldier was 26. In Vietnam, he was 19. According to a Veterans Administration study, half of the Vietnam combat veterans suffer from what psychiatrists call post-traumatic stress disorder. Many vets complain of alienation, rage, or guilt. Some succumb to suicidal thoughts. Eight to ten years after coming home, almost 800,000 men are still fighting the Vietnam War. In Vietnam, the combat soldier typically served a 12-month tour of duty, but was exposed to hostile fire almost every day of his tour. Hundreds of thousands of men who saw heavy combat in Vietnam have been arrested since discharge. Their arrest rate is almost twice that of non-veterans of the same age. There are no accurate figures on how many of these men have been incarcerated, but a Veterans Administration study concludes that the greater a vet's exposure to combat, the more likely his chance of being arrested or convicted. This is one legacy of the Vietnam War. In, 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 in Vietnam, he was 19. 19. 19. Purple Heart. None of them received a hero's welcome. None of them. None of them. You're 18 years old and you're wearing somebody's brains around on your shirt because they got their head blown off right next to you. And that's not supposed to affect you. I can never understand that. What would scare me is if we were to send a group of 18-year-olds 12,000 miles away and subject them to a year of that obscenity and have them not be affected. That's what would frighten me. You see a lot of destruction. I wasn't really sure what was going on. I and then we came back and we were different and everybody wants to know, God, what happened to those guys over there? We did what we had to do. Why? What did we do it for? Was it worth it? The heaviest fighting of the past two weeks continued today, 25 miles northwest of Saigon. In Saigon, a U.S. military spokesman said today more than 700 enemy troops were killed last week in that sensitive border area. Throughout all of South Vietnam, the enemy lost a total of 2,689 soldiers.